Right. So it's slippery, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Are you ready? I'm about to touch a one kilogram sphere of silicon 28 atoms. There are about 2.15 times 10 to the 25 of them. Oh. <laughs> it feels absolutely incredible. Wow, that is amazing. Besides its creators, I am one of only a handful of people ever to hold this sphere. The raw material used to make it was worth 1 million euros, but now that it has been so precisely sculpted... How much is that worth? <laughs> it's priceless. This you are looking at now is the roundest object in the world. How can you <laughs> say for sure that it's the roundest object? I mean, the Earth is pretty round, isn't it? If this was the Earth, if this were the earth, then the highest amount Hate to break it to you, but there's actually some solid evidence that an asteroid impact wiped out the dinosaurs. A crater left by the asteroid impact was found in Mexico. It's buried in soft sediment, but its shape is still held by granite from the impact. Scientists also found it by mapping the strength of the gravity field over that area. And just so we're clear, there's no asteroid to find. It created the crater by exploding on impact, sending up massive clouds of flaming debris that burned the planet's surface. So the contents of the debris were Earth particles from the impact, as well as asteroid particles. And that included iridium, which is an extraterrestrial element very common in asteroids. Scientists have found a very thin layer of iridium all around the world at the rock layer that corresponds with the date of the extinction 66 million years ago. And that iridium layer is always followed by a fire deposit because the land was literally burnt to a crisp. So it's very likely the extinction of the dinosaurs was due to an asteroid impact. Considering most of New York City is underwater, I kind of want to show what other animals do in case there's a flood. So fire ants, for instance, will actually make entire little floating rafts that can last for weeks as their bodies naturally repel water and the rough texture holds air. Pretty crazy. Will my guide dog O'Hara be getting a dog diploma at graduation? We are senior biology students in college and a lot of y'all were asking if she's going to be graduating in a cap and gown with me. Many of you were also wondering about the goodest girl in STEM's diploma situation. As of right now, here's what I know for sure. She will in fact be wearing a cap and gown that matches the color of mine at graduation. She will also look adorable wearing her Tri Beta Honor Cords. Whether or not everybody's favorite Labradori Retriever will achieve receiving a diploma at graduation is still up in the air. We are trying to push for her to get one. Regardless, you're going to be able to see this little cutie pie cross the stage coming soon. I have officially froze my Tesseract bubble. The only issue is as soon as it is exposed to room temperature, it falls apart. So our best bet is to freeze this outside. Someone up north needs to do this experiment. It's just a cigarette and it cannot be that bad. It's different from the shuttle. You know, the Soyuz is uh, a bit more like... The Soyuz actually is a uh, bit shaped like this pen and goes up straight up through the atmosphere. Now you know you've got the space station right up there. That <sighs> so I think everybody knows that the majority of the world is right-handed, about 90%. But did you know only 66% of the world is right-eyed? Like your brain actually has a preference for which eye takes the most information. And you can figure out which one you are by sticking your arms out and making a triangle and then focusing an object in the distance in the center of this triangle. Then you're gonna close each eye. And whichever eye keeps that object in the center of this triangle is the dominant eye. And whichever eye moves it is the weaker one. Tree grafting is one of the craziest things that we never talk about. Every single apple you've ever eaten in your entire life was grown like this because a Macintosh apple seed does not produce a Macintosh apple tree. And so what you have to do is you cut off branches from an apple tree and just stick them into another compatible tree. You can even use like a plum tree or, or a cherry tree and that other tree will literally grow off of it and, and produce apples. So every single Macintosh apple you've ever had actually came from the same plant in 1811 and we've just been cutting off branches and sticking into other trees ever since. Tahu gak sih kalian? Sebenarnya di balik kaleng soda ini ada plastiknya loh.
Untuk melihatnya, gue bakal nyoba ngilangin kalengnya. Kaleng soda terbuat dari aluminium yang akan larut dalam larutan basah kuat. Di sini, gue pakainya basah NaOH. Aluminium dapat larut karena bereaksi dengan NaOH, membentuk senyawa natrium aluminat dan gas hidrogen. Pembentukan natrium aluminat sendiri ditandai dengan menghitamnya warna larutan. Pada percobaan pertama, gue mengalami kegagalan karena hal tersebut bisa terjadi karena reaksi pembentukan natrium aluminat bersifat eksotermik dan akan membuat tekanan di dalam kaleng meningkat, yang pada akhirnya membuatnya meledak. Pada percobaan kedua, akhirnya gue berhasil setelah tutup kaleng sodanya gue buka untuk mengurangi tekanan. Nah, di situ kalian dapat melihat plastiknya yang berwarna bening. Doctors can now make you taller. This man plans to go from 5'7 to 5'11 using a remote controlled leg lengthener. The device is hammered into the bone, secured with screws, and the legs are then broken. The process is extremely painful, takes three months of therapy, and costs $75,000.